Praise the Lord, beloved. It's a blessing to come your way again today on Armed with the Word. It is my prayer that you and your household are doing well in the Lord. So today too, we want to encourage ourselves with the Word of God so that we can take our stand and live a victorious life in Christ Jesus so that we can overcome the tricks and traps of the enemy. Today we want to look at the promises of God concerning fear. Fear. God knows that fear is a crippling thing in the life of the believer. He knows, he knows that the enemy uses fear as a weapon to stop us from progressing, to keep us focusing on our situation instead of our God. So we look at our own limited ability, our our hopelessness, instead of the strength and the power of our God. The enemy keeps us from progressing because when fear enters us, we, we become stagnant. We are not able to progress. And so the enemy brings fear into us. He magnifies situations so that we become fearful and not able to progress so our God tells us not to fear in so many ways he tells us not to fear in his word so we when we look at the word of God in Isaiah 41 10 it says that so do, do not fear for I am with you do not be dismay for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. God says that we should not fear, for he is our God, the omniscient God, the omnipotent God, the omnipresent God. He is our God. Our God who knows all things. Our God who has power over everything. He is our God. And he says that he will strengthen us in our time of need. When the storms of life are raging, when we call on him, he will help us. When the enemy comes in like a flood, he will raise a standard. When the enemy comes, it says his righteous right hand that will help us. He, God, will help us in every situation, every trouble that we encounter. It is him who will help us. So when you look at the synoptic gospel, we're looking at Mark, Luke, and uh, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and it, they all give an account of uh, Jesus coming the storms. So when you read 225, it gives an account of Jesus in a boat with his disciples. And the storms began to rage. That there were storms and, and there was so much chaos going on on the waters. And the boat was about to capsize. And the disciples were afraid. There was unsettledness in them. And they call on Jesus. And so when you read the verse 24 um luke 8 24 it says that the disciples went and woke him saying master master we are going to drown he woke up he woke up and rebuked the wind and the raging waters the and the storms subsided and all was calm he woke up and he spoke he rebuked he commanded the raging waters and everything was calm. And when you look at Mark's account of the same event, Mark 4.39, he says that he woke up, rebuked the wind and said to the waves, quiet, be still. Then the wind died down and it was completely calm. He rebuked it. And it was completely calm. The disciples called on Jesus. Jesus was in their boat, but yet they were afraid. Jesus is with us. The Holy Spirit is with us, yet we are afraid. We are afraid of the unknown. We are unsettled about situations that are going on around us. The 
storms of life are raging. There is so much going on that we are afraid. But when we call on Jesus, when we call on him, he speaks to every storm and every storm becomes calm. So when you read Luke 10, 17, it says that uh, the uh, 72 returned with joy and said, Lord, and this is the part I want you to, to, I want to sink into your spirit, even as it sinks into my spirit. It says that, and they said, Lord, even the demons submit to us in your name. Hallelujah. In your name, in the name of Jesus, even the demons submitted. At the mention of his name, every demon, everything, every disease, every chaos will bow, will bow, will bow and declare that of the truth. He is, he is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He alone holds the power in his hand. And when you read at 25, it says that Jesus, Jesus, Jesus speaking, where is your faith? He asked his disciples. In fear and amazement, they asked one another, who is this? Who is this? He commands even the winds and the waters and they obey him. Beloved, he is Jesus. He is Jesus. He speaks to the winds. He speaks to the storms and they obey him. There is nothing on earth. There is nothing beneath the earth. There is nothing in the waters. There is nothing that does not obey the voice of Jesus. Everything bows at the mention of his name. So beloved, when we call Jesus, who is in our boat, the Holy Spirit is with us. And when we call on him, every storm that is raging in our life will bow to Jesus. And so it said that in different contexts that the, the, the word fear not, fear not or do not be afraid has is in the scriptures 365 times and as a nurse I take that as a dose, as a daily dose, daily dose of fear not that when the storms of life are raging, when the enemy is speaking the life, when the enemy is crippling us, when the enemy is trying to depress us that we speak the word of God, that we are not to be afraid fear not fear not for he is with us we fear not we will not be dismayed because our god is with us his righteous right hand will uphold us it is him that will strengthen us in every situation and so if the master is in our boat if the master is in our boat then what are we to be afraid of he will speak and there will be quietness and so second Second Timothy 1 7 says that he has not given us the spirit of fear. Fear is not of God. That is not what he gave us. He did not give us the spirit of fear, but he gave us the power. He gave us power. He gave us love and he gave us sound mind. Our God wants us to have sound mind. He wants us to have peace. And when we call him into our situation, when he speaks, when his voice speaks, permeates when his voice comes through every storm it has no choice but to be still and to be quiet and so beloved i know there is so much going on and even as i bring my message to an end even as i bring this segment to an end i want to pray with you i want to pray with you so let's pray Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We thank you for assurance of your word. We thank you that you are with us. We thank you that your presence is with us. We give you glory for all the things that you do for us on a daily basis. And we thank you that you have overcome every storm that is in our life. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that you will speak to every storm that is raging in our lives. Storms that are raging in our schools. Storms that are raging in our community. Storms that are raging in our workplaces. Father, in this world, oh 
God, in our countries, oh God. We pray, oh God, that you will speak, oh God, and your voice will penetrate, oh God, every storm that is raging and cause it to be still. Father, we thank you, oh God, for this, oh God, and the many promises that you have given unto us. We give you glory. We honor you now and forevermore. Amen. Beloved, uh, it is my prayer that you and your household uh, are well and that every storm that